Be sure to check our website, Pilau Comics and The Last American on Facebook. Carib Verse TV presents The Islanders Oil Reserves Chapter 23. Mustafa rolls up his sleeves and pulls out an hourglass. He lets it hover before him. Ah, how considerate of you. A man who cherishes the time he has left, said Aldezurus, before I send you into oblivion. Aldezurus said with a menacing look. Susan, Bajan, and the others laid in a bit of pain on the floor looking on. This is a timer. You have King Jab under a Joko spell. Mustafa mentioned as the others fought King Jab trying to prevent him from going near the oil reserves. He is hypnotized into doing all this madness, Mustafa explained. What do I mean? Susan asked while on the floor. Mustafa then turned to her. I go explain another time. The hourglass mean we have an hour until King Jab is free of this spell. Mustafa said before Aldezurus fired magic at him. He leaned and it missed him barely. Aldezurus then executed some hand gestures before placing his palm on the ground, triggering a dust wave which flung everyone back except King Jab and Mustafa, who jumped over it. Mustafa released magic as well at Aldezurus, who also dodged it. The others charged into King Jab, who blew a fireball in their direction. Both dived out of the way. The woman with wings flew in, but King Jab sent her flying off balance in the opposite direction with a bicycle kick. King Jab's foot had some flames while executing the move. The man with the suit ran in, but was struck by the whip, which dismantled parts of his suit. He was then struck with a sharp object, which had fire at its tips. He landed near Susan, who crawled to him. My boy, my boy, shouted Susan, holding him. To be continued. And that was the Islanders Oil Reserves Chapter 23. Caribverse TV, where we bring the stories to you. <laughs>